Hello, I'd like to tell you a story that happened at a local ranch in the area that Mike and Tina told me this story and everything about it is true. It's called the K-Bar Romeo. Down at the K-Bar Ranch, the breeding season was done. They gathered in all the bulls, that is all but one. He was a big Brahma bull, he weighed more than a ton. He didn't want to leave his ladies, he was having too much fun. The cowboys went back with ropes in the trailer to show him who was boss. Little did they know this was a line he would never cross. Cooter took to him first, but hit a ditch and rolled his horse. He got banged up really bad when he hit the ground with all that force. Mike and Greg finally got him trailered and backed up to the pen. Little did they know the real trouble was just about to begin. They pushed him out of the trailer, but he doubled back quicker than a switchblade knife, put Greg on top of the trailer, scrambling for his life. Somehow he got into the barnyard and decided he would roam. He trotted across the field straight to Mike's mobile home. He jumped up on the front porch where there were flowers hanging in pots of terracotta. He started budding and swinging at them, just like you would a pinata. Mike ran past the beast to tell his wife not to go outside. A minute later, that bull busted through the front door of that single wide. They barely escaped to the back porch, scared and somewhat shaken. They couldn't believe how their home had just now been overtaken. Back in the house, mud manure were oozing across the floor. But what made Tina really mad? He slobbered all over the sliding glass door. Mike called the owner. A bull is in my kitchen. What should I do was his plea. Thinking it was a joke, Henry told him, well, why don't you serve him up some tea? The bull finally went back out the front door and straight to his herd, he made a straight track. But he busted up three of the fences before he made it back. The cowboys all gathered up and they had a meeting to lay their fears. And then it was all agreed. Why not extend the breeding season at least for two more years? <laughs>